Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new episode of Elder Scrolls Online and today guys I'm gonna show you where to do some crafting materials farming if you just started the game, okay? So this is what's going to happen. We are right here in Uridon, okay? So after you finish your uh, starting location, you will be uh, ending up here if you obviously are playing this pact, okay? And what I'm proposing to you is to do a bit of farming next to a sky watch, okay? In actual fact, it's east of it. And this is the exact location, Matheson Way Shrine. Okay, so here's where we are. And this is the route that we are going to do to uh, farm some crafting materials. We are going to go north here, all the way up, turn around here, come down back, until we reach this location again okay that is the idea i'm gonna do a couple of laps um, for you guys so you can see uh, how much there is to uh, be harvested now you will see these icons this is a, an add-on that i am using and you will see plenty of them each icon represents some materials that i have already picked up so you can actually see okay now, if you're going to follow this guide, what I recommend you is to uh, stay on the edge of the road, okay? Don't go just on the road uh, because you will miss materials, especially uh, around the edges here in the mountains and things, okay? Another good thing when you do this type of farming is to look in both ways of uh, the road, for example here, you see? As you go past, just have a quick look between uh, both sides. That way, that way, you will get more materials. Simple as that. Right, let's check the map. Make sure that we are going the right way. Yes, we are. And you can see here is lots of things I have already um, harvested. Now you can do this for two main reasons, or you can do this for whatever reason you want really, but I'm going to give you um, two of those that it may help you to decide if you want to do this or not. If you're just starting, one of the reasons will be because you need to level up your uh, crafting and or your skills in crafting, okay? The other one could be because you need some cash. And if you craft here for a good hour, you will get a lot of materials that you can easily, easily sell at the auction house. Okay, so keep that in mind. See how quick things are spawning here. So I'll do a couple of laps for you guys, I was saying, and leave it there. And if you just start in the game and uh, you don't know a location to go farming, this can be one for you. Okay, I will be doing uh, two more locations in the two different factions so you guys can have a good reference where to go if you're starting in different packs. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. So we go around here this road towards the north now and see if anything else that we can find. Which, by the way, by the way, you can actually find a couple of chests around here as well and I looked at one of them here's something else that you can get and I'll show you the location in a second and that one responds quite um, fast as well If you are interested to know which um, add-ons I am using, please leave me a comment. I'm more than happy to let you know what I am using, of course, and uh, uh, hopefully will help you as well. Now, the chest location is right here. Right, that girl is going to it. Right here. It responds very, very fast, so uh, keep an eye on, on mind on that as well. And here's some more things that you can get as well. Oh, 
Okay, okay, anything else? Now, at this point, I recommend you to, uh, instead of going through this building here, which you can if you like, okay, there's the door, and you can uh, go to the other side. Just go through the edge. I think it's going to be better for you guys. Uh, well, that's why I do a list, and definitely works for me, okay? There you go. And we are heading now towards the beginning. Okay, give it a go, guys. If you are just starting and need crafting materials and you are in this pact, you know, give it a go because it works. It works very, very nice. Uh, let's go here from behind as well. And by the way, keep in mind, guys, that these wolves and bears and all that, they will attack you if you haven't done a quest which make them be friendly, okay? So if you're going to do this, keep that in mind as well. Be ready for some fighting as well. Okay, and that is the shrine where we started. And perhaps you can even go as far as here where the war ends. There we go. And then turn around and do uh, do it again. Which I'm going to do for you guys so you can see that, you know, after one lab, you still can carry on uh, finding a spawning material because this spawn is quite sharp. So that is the uh, waste run where we started. Let's do it again. So we keep on the side of the road. Looking at both sides, actually, of the road. There's some wood in here. And by the way, don't expect to find the same type of materials that I'm, I'm finding. Because, obviously, my crafting my, um, skills are higher, so the materials will change. But the location will be exactly the same. See? So keep that in mind. Don't think that uh, something is wrong. It's just uh, things are going to change because simply because my skill is higher than what your skill will be at that level if you're just starting, okay? And remember this. This is just for people starting the game, okay? Now, if you're starting the game and it's something that you would like to see, um, any type of guides or anything like that you'd like to me to do, please leave me a comment if, and if I can, I will try to help you as much as I can. And of course, if you are in PC EU server, you know, uh, send me a message and perhaps we can actually chat or whatever. That's what we're here for. Because that's one of the things I like in this game. It's just so uh, you can immerse yourself so much. It's so deep with so many things to do that uh, it can be overwhelming as you first start uh, this game. It really can be really frustrating. But uh, there are no difficult things to learn, and, and there are so many of them. And the best thing to do is just, uh, you know, ask someone they have the experience or knows what they're talking about. And. Uh, I'm not saying that I know what I'm talking about, but I definitely I know a few things. And if I can help you with that, I will be more than happy to help you. So that is something you, you need to keep in mind when you watch this uh, video as well, okay? So anyway, enough chatty chatty. See if we can get anything else. But you can see that things respond very, very uh, fast, actually. It's not too bad at all. 
And as I said earlier, you do this for a good hour or something like that, you can get huge amounts of uh, materials. Okay, let's go again. Here on the edge of the building. Towards the shrine again and uh, you know, keep an eye on all these uh, places because they, they can't respond any any anywhere really. Make sure I'm going the right way. Yeah, we are. Let me check the other side of the road as well. There we go. And then to get done. And that's pretty much it, guys. There's not much to it. It's simply that uh, at some locations in some maps, the crafting materials respond faster than other ones. And I believe this is one of them. So give it a go if you need to, guys, as I said earlier. Uh, I'm pretty sure you'll be able to take advantage of all this. And of course, uh, if you think that this video is helpful, please comment, subscribe and like. You don't have to like it, only if you think it's helpful. And if you like it, obviously, the better. Okay, so that's the one again. That was the second lap. And of course, you can go on and on and on and on again. Okay. And one more thing, you will find crafting materials everywhere. As you can see in the map, every little icon is one crafting material. You will find materials everywhere in the map. You can see, you know, how many materials I have picked up all over the the place, really. You can see it's everywhere. But uh, here's one of them where you can actually see all the amounts the, of crafting materials they are. And uh, that's because they respond very quick. Down here's another one for mining, if you like, they respond quite sharply as well. So give it a go, and as you go, you will find many, many locations. But this, I think, is one of the best for you if you just started, okay? Anyway, uh, we end this episode here. And that's it, guys. This is everything for now. I hope to see you in the next episode. Until then, take great care.